I'm on in. I'm always getting asked a question, Azure or AWS certifications. So this is always a tricky choice when you want to add your cloud certs and experience to your resume, or if you're just starting out, maybe you're asking yourself, which cloud certification should I study up and skill up in, um, Azure or AWS? Um, let's discuss. So during this video, we will discuss the following different types of AWS and Azure certifications currently on offer, the market share, the services comparison, comparing the two platforms. Then the last part of this video will be a summary of choosing which certification path to take. As always, please subscribe. Regular videos posted weekly to receive notifications when videos are posted on the channel. Thank you very much. So let's take a look at the AWS certifications first. So these are grouped into a similar way um, to Azure certs where you follow a role-based learning path. So for example, as you can see, AWS are grouped from the starting entry foundation level, uh, then up to the associate level, and then at the top we have the professional level. Azure also groups in a similar way. So they start at the um, entry fundamentals level, um, associate level next, and then the expert level, which is the professional level. Let's dive into each learning path for AWS, starting at the cloud practitioner level. Now the cloud pack practitioner level. This is a learning path for candidates with little or no experience in cloud uh, looking to build and validate an overall understanding of the AWS cloud. So for a starting block for individuals in technical, managerial, sales, purchasing or financial roles who work um, with the AWS cloud. Again, this is similar to the Azure entry level fundamentals level uh, certification, um, understanding cloud concepts, uh, core Azure services, Azure pricing and support. It's a single exam for the cloud practitioner CLF C01. So if we move on to the architect learning path, so this path is designed for solution architects, solution design engineers, anyone who wants to learn how to design applications and systems on AWS. Um, so you build technical skills as you progress um, along the path towards uh, AWS certification. So if we move on now to the developer certification, so this path is really designed for, for software developers who want to learn how to develop cloud apps on AWS. So the associate examination is really intended for um, individuals or candidates who perform uh, a development role or have one or more years experience, you know, hands on of developing and maintaining um, AWS based applications. So the operations learning path are designed for um, sysop admins, system administrators and those in DevOps um, who really uh, want to learn how to create it, you know, automate and re uh, repeatable deployments of applications, you know, systems, networks um, within AWS. So the architect, developer and operations paths are part of the associate level role based certifications, as we can see there in the diagram. These are similar again to the Azure certification paths of associate level, where we also have developer and operations like the admin associate and developer associates. You may have noticed for Azure, the architect certifications are rolled up into the expert certification level, where we have the Azure Solutions Architect Expert and the DevOps Expert certifications. So for foundation, AWS recommends six months of AWS cloud and industry knowledge. Associate is one year of experience solving problems and implementation, and then professional would be two years plus um, of experience designing and, and troubleshooting operating solutions. So for each of these levels, we can drill down into the particular level and then we can review the exam guides and sample questions. We can explore the learning paths as various white papers and practice exams on offer for us to review and study. I'll include the links for this, but as you can see, we've got each level here and then we can drill down and we've got our sample questions. Um, We've got our white papers and practice exams for us to follow. All the links will be available in the description.
So last but not least, the professional certifications are available for solution architects and DevOps engineers with two or more years hands-on experience. AWS lifted the prerequisites, so you can go ahead and take these certs without any of the uh, certifications below. However, these are difficult exams and it would be recommended to go through the learning path to build yourself up unless you have years of experience um, on the AWS platform and are comfortable taking these exams straight away. So there's no doubt, you know, AWS and uh, Microsoft Azure are the largest cloud servers providers um, in the world. So according to Microsoft, 80% of Fortune 500 companies is on the Microsoft cloud right now. Um, so gaining Azure certification increases the possibility of candidates getting a job in one of these companies. Uh, so hundreds of new companies adopt Microsoft Azure every year as they do AWS. Um, regularly rising the need for Microsoft Azure certified professionals and also AWS certified pros too. So if we look at latest earnings released for Microsoft, we can see that revenues um, was $3.9 billion, an increase of 14% in the last quarter. Of the total of that $3.9 billion revenues recorded, 11.9 um, was from the intelligent cloud, the, the, the highest figure so far, which translated uh, to a record equaling $4.5 billion of operating income. Amazon, on the other hand, still leads the cloud services market in terms of overall revenue and spending with 35 billion in revenue. Um, however, Microsoft is, is, is now the most popular cloud services supplier right now. So it's steadily gaining market share against major competitors like Amazon, according to a new survey um, from Goldman Sachs about the current state of trend uh, that is reshaping the, the technology industry. Yeah, here's a little bit of press from, from last October where Microsoft won the, the 10 billion uh, US Department of Defense, the JEDI contract. So the 10 year agreement is part of a larger Pentagon initiative to modernize and unify its IT infrastructure, most of which actually still exist on technology back from the 80s and the 90s. So the Microsoft decision to win this contract came as a massive shock since many considered AWS as the likely winner. So here we will look into um, the AWS and Azure services comparison. So not every AWS service or Azure service is listed and not every match service has an exact uh, feature for feature. So as you can see, as we scroll down, we've got the marketplace, which is basically the same names. If we look at compute, we've got EC2 in AWS compared to simply virtual machine in, in Azure. If we look at the databases, we use RDS, DynamoDB are quite popular in AWS. SQL DB is popular in Azure. And the networking piece, we call things different names, VPC in AWS, virtual network in Azure. Um, for example, ExpressRoute also compared to uh, Direct Connect in AWS. So as you can see, this is quite a nice uh, comparison list actually. Uh, so I'll add the links in the uh, description below for your benefit. So let's now have a summary of what we have reviewed during this video. So if we go back to the original question, which cloud certification should I study and skill up in? Azure or AWS cloud certifications? Now this is a tricky question and unfortunately there's no straight answer. This all depends on various factors. After watching this video, I hope you are now aware that AWS and Azure differ and vary in their services and delivery. Therefore, it's difficult to say which one is better than the other. It really comes down to company and customer requirements, use cases, choosing either one or the other. Although companies are now starting to adopt multi-cloud platforms for specific services on each platform to meet requirements. Therefore, it's a good idea to be skilled up on multiple cloud platforms, i.e. AWS and Azure together to increase your chances of employment if you can. Let's face it, Azure and AWS platforms are massive leaders in cloud computing and offer different services and options uh, depending on requirements. So therefore, uh, to be multi-skilled in both Azure and AWS is of course a bonus. 
in terms of opportunity if you can. But if you decide to go down a, a single cloud path, I don't think that's a problem as there's lots of opportunity in both areas right now. I mean, let's face it, cloud is not going away and both platforms are growing, not shrinking. It also helps what you enjoy, and this is important. Do you actually like the platform and services on offer? You know, what services excite you? You know, which certification paths, uh, you know, suit you right now based on experience and skill set? So foundational fundamentals, architect design and solutions, developer developing or coding solutions, um, system administration. Interest is a key. If you're not interested in what you're learning and what you're working on, then you will ultimately lose interest and not achieve your goals in the end. All of this makes a difference because study and skilling up in your area is a long term goal. And the main thing is, is that you need to be happy in what you're doing from a day to day uh, basis because you spend a lot of time working on something and achieving your goals in that area. If you're not happy in what you're learning or it does not interest you skilling up on it, then find yourself uh, something that you actually enjoy. And nothing is set in stone either. So, you know, you can switch between learning platforms and paths um, if you decide one is not for you. So whichever you choose, um, I wish you all the best of luck on your cloud uh, career path. All the best and subscribe for future weekly posts. Take a look at my channel videos for learning and certification and speak out with your, your comments below. Let's hear your comments. I always enjoy uh, hearing what you're doing right now. And yeah, I will reply. So post some stuff and uh, let's have a chat about this. Many thanks. Take care and uh, enjoy your weekend. All the best.